हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस व्हिडिओ सिरीज आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कन्सेप्ट ऑफ डब्ल्यू लिंक लिस्ट वेअर इन दिस व्हिडिओ सेशन आय एम गोईंग टू कवर द टॉपिक क्रिएट ऑपरेशन ऑन डब्ल्यू लिंक लिस्ट हाऊ टू क्रिएट अ डब्ल्यू लिंक लिस्ट दॅट आय एम गोईंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इन दिस व्हिडिओ सेशन बिफोर मुविंग टू द कंटेंट आय वुड लाईक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स and keep the bell ringing before going to the create operation directly we'll see some details about doubly linked list the doubly linked list name is given according to its behavior doubly linked list is having three fields mainly every node is having three field the first one is content it is also called as data or information part rest of two are pointer or a reference to both the direction the first one is to the next node just same as of the singly linked list and another reference or another pointer is nothing but to the previous node this is the additional reference part additional part to available with the doubly linked list and that's why the name is given doubly because both the direction they this link list or the node of this link list are having the pointer that's why the name is given doubly link list so in short doubly link list and its nodes stores a pointer or a reference to the next node as well as to the previous node just same as of this diagram which i have shown right now now let's move to the operations on a doubly link list which operations we can perform on a doubly linked list so mainly we can perform these five different operations the first one is to create doubly linked list second one is to insert a node in a doubly linked list so we can insert a node it at three different positions as i explain uh, so we can insert a node at three different positions as mentioned here like the first one is at beginning second one is in between third one is at the end of the list the third operation that we can perform is nothing but the delete operation again at all the three positions fourth one is to traverse a doubly linked list but we can traverse the doubly linked list in both the direction that is in forward direction as well as in reverse direction and we can perform the search operation on a node as well first of all we'll see to create a doubly linked list in this video session rest of the operation we will see one by one in a separate video so to gain the knowledge about rest of the operation on a doubly linked list please stay tuned with my channel tech talks first of all let's see the node structure of dll then we will move to the create function create operation on a doubly linked list so as i explained previously it is divided into three parts the first one is nothing but data or information part second one is nothing but a link to the next node it is also called as next field and the third one is nothing but link or a reference or a pointer to the previous node it is also called as previous field let's see how to create a doubly linked list so first of all we have to create a head node because a head node will hold the address of the first node of your doubly linked list so we supposed to create a node by default the address will get allotted to this node here you can see that the three partitions three parts of the node they are nothing but the, this is nothing but the information data part or a content part of the node this is nothing but the next field which is null currently and this is nothing but a previous field which is also null currently whenever you are going to create a new node always you have to assign its information part and its next and previous field must be null currently this link list this doubly link list is having a single node so that's why there is no any next node is available as well as no any previous node is available to indicate the same thing they are having the null field as a previous as well as in a next address location if you want to add one more node in that case the node is created as well as the address is assigned to that node and now i want to form a link between these two nodes so to form a link between these two node what the protocol we have to follow 
this is nothing but the head node head nodes next part will hold the address of the next node so that's why the next address of the next node is 65630 and it will form a logical link between these two nodes in the same way the newly created node its previous part will hold the address of the previous node is nothing but 65530 so after assigning that address to the previous field it is forming a logical link between the current node and the head node or a new node and a head node so in this way here you can see that both the direction we are providing a link that is in forward direction as well as in a reverse direction this field is null because this is the first node this field is also null because this is the last node there is no any further node available to indicate that this is a null and there is no any previous node is available to indicate this is the first node or a head node the previous field is also null now let's add one more node with the different address location and let's update the links again so this is the next field of the node whose uh, data part is 20 and will get updated with the address of the next node and to form a logical link between them the same way for this node this null is get updated with the address of the previous node and which forms a link in a reverse direction so in this way we can create a doubly link list so thank you friends for listening and watching my video if you like the content and the video please do not forget to give the comment and also do not forget to share it with your friends here i am providing you a subscription link for your for, for my channel tech talks For your reference, I am providing you a shortcut link for the next video of this video series and the whole video series I am providing here in the form of playlist. So thank you, friends, for listening and watching this video series. Happy data structuring, happy learning. Thank you.